Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, host Jan. I hope you are all doing well today, my sweet friends. I really do hope that. Welcome back to Chelsea News, the nearly daily, I suppose, series here in Football Therapy where I go across the rags, see what's being said about the Blues, and present it here on Chelsea News. Couple of stories I want to get into today. There's an half that divides opinion. Antonio Rudiger has been talking to German publication Build about his ability to go full agent Rudy again and try and help Chelsea get a new centre half, including potentially the likes of David Alaba, who I thought was already definitely in Madrid. I also want to talk about an article coming from Football365 referring to Frank Kessier as Thomas Tuchel's dream signing and how tomorrow could be used as a make weight potentially. I don't really know how much to read into that. It's going to be a good one today boys and girls. If you like daily Chelsea content of course I'd urge you all to subscribe to this channel to Football Therapy. Um, and yeah if you want to show your love like the video comment down below throughout the video on your thoughts on different subjects topics or whatever. Share with your friends. Help a brother out. <laughs> Spread the beautiful word of football therapy. All right then, let's get into the first story of today's video. And that is Antonio Rudiger, big agent Rudy, who was reportedly semi-integral when Chelsea signed Havertz and Timo Werner. Whether he actually helped that much at all, I don't know. <laughs> but the point is, he's been talking again about getting more people to Chelsea from Germany. I'm gonna quote you now an extract from the Express referring to the interview that Antonio Rudiger had with the German publication Bild. Rudiger has already proven that he's capable of using his German connections to convince both Werner and Havertz to move to Stamford Bridge. And it appears as though the 27 year old is ready to do the same again this year with conversations already being held with Alaba. What? Quote, if Chelsea were to decide on one of the three players as a transfer target, I would be available to answer any questions, he told Bild. I know Jerome and Nicholas very well and I've already had contact with David Alaba. I've already had contact with David Alaba. So what the hell is Antonio Rudiger saying here? He's like, don't worry mate, I'm on the case. Look, to be honest man, if he is the broadcast, if Antonio Rudiger is responsible for Chelsea Football Club signing David Alaba, um, you know, for an agreeable wages and whatever, then fair friggin' play, man. Havertz, Werner, and Alaba, I don't know how integral he was to any of these, but if he does contribute, then fair play. Anything that Rudiger does wrong, any weird own goal he scores, I'm willing to forget. You bring these superstar Galactico players to Chelsea Football Club instead of Real Madrid, bro, I'm willing to clean that slate. So obviously he's talking about Jerome Boateng and Nicolas Sula. To be honest, Boateng's relatively uninspiring and Sula as well I'm not massively into. But of course, the hot topic, the desired property for most European giants at the moment is free agent David Alaba in his prime, an absolute Rolls Royce. Although it has been reported that he wants to play midfield where he goes somewhere. Who knows, maybe he could do that at Chelsea. Maybe Thomas Tuchel is looking for another sort of more... Well, if we're playing these double sixes, it could make sense. David Alaba, you know, if, I don't know, we've got a few midfielders. But who knows, it could make sense. The truth is, he's one of those players that you see available and you just want at your club. I was pretty adamant he's going to Real Madrid. I was reading reports and I've reported on reports here on Football Therapy that... You know, his preference is Madrid, but he wants loads of money. Maybe that's his preference, loads of money. Then that he wants to play in midfield. I mean, <laughs> to be honest, when you've won so many titles and Champions Leagues and stuff and you're in your prime and you're a free agent, you probably can have a few demands, to be honest. He's recently just confirmed that he's 100% leaving Bayern in the summer. Worst kept secret ever. Or maybe Dio up in Meccano to Bayern Munich <laughs> is the worst kept secret. But you know, him saying this like, yeah, I'm done here at Bayern. It's been bloody wicked. What an amazing team going for a new challenge. And then Chelsea fans want David Alaba. Antonio Rudiger's coming out and he's saying, look, man, I know David. I've spoken to him. I've already, I've already made contact. Interesting, eh? Anyway, of course, I'll keep tabs on this and let you know what's going on here on Football Therapy. So make sure you are subscribed and have that all important bell notifications icon switched on because that notifies you when I upload and you can be the first to learn what's going on with Chelsea Football Club by keeping up with my videos. 
Anyway, let's move on to the second story of today and talk about Fukayo Tomori and Frank Kessio. So, this story is coming from Football365, which has extracted the story from Italian media. Speculating to a degree, first off, that Frank Kessier is Thomas Tuchel's dream signing, quote, end quote. Which, I don't know, maybe for a story is reaching a little bit, but it is relevant because maybe he is a desired target for Thomas Tuchel. And of course, at the moment, Milan have uh, Fikayo Tomori on loan. Let me read you an extract from the Football 365 article. And now, Milanista claims that Tomori could be used as a make weight in any deal for Kessier this summer. Milan have the option to sign the Chelsea defender for 28 million euros if the loan deal goes well with Tomori, so far making four appearances since his January transfer window move. As things stand, the Rossoneri do not seem to want to spend that amount on Tomori, but they could consider redeeming him if he were to become a protagonist with some top level performances. The article goes on to say, look, yes, they don't want to spend a lot of money, but if Chelsea come up to me now and say, look, you can have Tomori, who's playing well for you, and we're going to slip you a few extra quid and you send Frank back the other way, then boom, we got some business on our hands. Now, I'm not saying I want this. I, like many Chelsea fans, are... I really want Tomori to work out at Chelsea, especially if he plays well over at AC Milan. You know, you want that to come to Chelsea, but you know, at the moment, I'm very much in the mold in the shape of trusting the gaffer. The gaffer that's starting Kepa, Alonso, Rudiger, these players that I certainly was uncertain about. And we're winning games and we're yet to concede a goal to an opposition player. So at the moment, you have to trust the manager, which I'm doing so. And if he feels like there's no use for Tomori at Chelsea, although that would be very, very sad in terms of a sentimental perspective of the Chelsea Academy. You know, maybe he says, look, I'm going to win titles with Chelsea, but I want to, I want to bring Frank Kessie over. You know, you start trusting the gaffer, you keep trusting the gaffer. Frank himself is a very highly rated player. Yet to enter his prime at 24 years old, the midfielder has been in the sort of eye of European football for a long, long time now. Interestingly, he can play both central midfield and the central defensive midfield, so he can be a CDM as well. Yet that hasn't stopped him from making 10 league goal involvements this season in just 21 appearances. So for a more defensively minded midfielder, that's pretty damn incredible. In fact, he scored seven goals. Imagine if Mateo Kovacic, who gets high praise as well, added seven league goals to his playstyle this season. You would be absolutely waxing lyrical about the Croatian. I'm not saying he's not a magnificent midfielder and hasn't been great for us. He has been. I'm just adding further context. So the Milan midfielder has been doing really well and this Italian article is suggesting that if they want to keep Tomori, maybe Chelsea will offer Tomori plus cash for their midfielder as he has been reported as Thomas Tuchel's dream signing. Now, I don't know enough about that sort of source or Thomas Tuchel's inclinations. I know he said he's very happy with the squad, but come the summer when, you know, you sort of feel out your squad a little bit more, see what's working, what's not working, try and implement new players to help your vision, could be an option. It could be an option. Anyway, what do you guys think? I'm very interested in your thoughts, feelings, and opinions, and all the players I've spoken about today. Hell, Rudiger, uh, the other German defenders, as well as the Austrian David Alaba. Let me know what you think of Frank Kessier at Milan and Tomori potentially not coming back. I want to hear it all, my friends. So get down in the comment section below and comment. If you have enjoyed the video, please do drop a like. Consider subbing. Remember to share this video with your grandma. I'm out, fellas. Enjoy the football. I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.